Hi everyone, I hope you're doing really well. Um, I've just dived on here um, and um, I'm just saying that because I thought oh, I did a little bit of a scruff bag, but anyway, irrelevant. Because um, my friend has just come round literally and said, I found this new brand called, um, I think it's called M Me, M-I-I, -I, My, Me, My, it's M-I-I. The link will be in the description. Um, and she said, Laura, you're gonna love this for your channel. Um, I've just found a really, really brilliant dupe for Pillow Talk. So Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, I think it's probably one of her best selling palettes, as is the lipstick, and for very good reason. It's a really beautiful palette. It's 45 pounds. This is 21. So here's Pillow Talk. So I'm just gonna bring them up. Could have probably polished up Pillow Talk, couldn't I? I haven't actually used this. Um, I ordered it um, and it's arrived. And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna do a little bit of, um, I'm actually not gonna do a little bit. I'm gonna do one eye Charlotte Tilbury and one eye my, um, just to see what the quality's like. Really, really love this palette. Um, as you can see that I've used it um, a lot. It's one of those kind of colorways, if you've never used it, that I wouldn't, well, you wouldn't necessarily go for, but it just gives such a really beautiful kind of like feminine um, feel to the eye. And I say you wouldn't normally go for, because maybe you'd go for like a light brown or a light gray, but this really beautiful kind of like soft pinky peach is so, so flattering. So let's start with the Tilbury first. Um, let's take a clean brush for each one. So when I'm doing these kind of eyes, and bring my mirror in slightly. Um, I always try and do the darkest shades first. So I'm gonna go in with the darkest first. And I'm gonna kind of create just a really nice open eye. I've got a little bit of concealer and a bit of powder um, on my eyes. And I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade first and then the lightest. Because if I go in with the lightest and then I try and build up the depth, that's where you find that you can't get any movement with the depth of your shade. So go dark and then build up lighter. That's a kind of a really, really good tip when kind of like working with your palettes. So let's, I'll try and copy the same one, exactly the same um, pattern as I do on this eye on the other eye, and then we'll see whether it works. It might work, it might not, but then we'll find out, won't we? So I'm just using this slightly beveled brush here, um, and I'm working that into the socket so that I can go a little bit finer on the inside there, because I wanna kind of create that depth, and I'm just gonna push that up so that it really kind of softens down. Already that really opens out my eye. Let me just take a clean brush now. So I don't want this to be like too strong, especially with this like metallic-y shirt that I've ended up throwing on today. Um, quite enjoyed wearing this shirt today, I have to say. Normally I'd like chuck it on with some like tight jeans or something if I was going out or putting like a jumper over the top. I've been wafting around the house in my metallic in the middle of the day on a Monday on a Monday, let me know, <laughs> let, let, let me tell you. Um, honestly, the things we do to cheer ourselves up, great. Okay, so we have got a little fine hair there. Now I'm gonna take the tip of this and then just wedge that color, not too much, but just you sort of see how it sort of helps to sort of pop the color of my eye already. So I'm just wedging that right into the baseline of my lashes. Not too much, because I don't want it to look sort of sleepy and tired, but it's such a lovely shade. Right, then I'm gonna go in with a clean brush. Let's have a look here. And I'm gonna use the slightly pinkier, lighter tone just on the outside here, just to give it a nice wash, because if I go straight in with the metallic, it will be too much. So just warm that lid up. And also I'm just gonna warm the edge, warming the edge of the darker socket, just so that it kind of makes my eye just that little bit bigger, you know? But that's just with the tail of the product that was left on the brush. And then I'm gonna keep this inner corner bit nice and clear. I'm gonna go in with another brush and I'm gonna go in with the lighter sorry, the darker metallic, and I'm gonna put that over the pink. So pretty. Never fails, this one, it really never fails. And it's just like a graduation of color. So if you've got this palette and you've never put it on this way, 
try and even if you just were to use the lightest metallic just in the inner corners of your eye and have nothing else that's also really pretty love that so I'm going to take a cotton bud now and then I'm going to Gonna make sure I remember all this. <laughs> so the cotton bud and then just going to place that over the inner corner of my eye there to add that little bit of light and it's such a nice soft feminine tone that it's just very very soft and flattering and that's pretty much it. So it's nice and graduated I might just go back in again with the darker shade just to get a little bit more graduation of colour. I try and do, well obviously these these um, films are all real time unless I've messed up on a word or said something wrong or because um, there are a lot of eye looks out on the internet that um, take ages to do and rightly so, you know sometimes I might be working on a client of mine and it takes me sort of 10 to 15 minutes to perfect the eyes but quite frankly, I think in real life it's just too much. So what I'm saying is I try and do it real time and do it quickly. I don't know how long that took. I don't know if I've got to see. Six minutes I think I've been chatting for, so good. Um, I want to make it doable for everybody. Okay, so let me see if I've got another beveled one. Okay, let me just take this Bobbi Brown one. So let's go in with the darker shade and compare. <laughs> yep. I mean, literally a rip-off in terms of colour, but if you can save yourself 20 quid and the shades are the same and they last, then I guess why not? We all need dupes. We all need to save a few pennies. And I have to say, if you've never sort of um, bought a palette with this kind of like pinky um, nudie shades. Um, it's very refreshing and it's very flattering so I urge you to either treat yourself to the Tilbury or try this brand. I need to find out more about I have used a few of their lipsticks and blushes because I got sent something from the PR and then um, my friend came around with this which is wonderful. Right so we did that and then I'm going to take on my Beauty Pie ones and I go in with a slightly more peachy one on the outside to blend in. Oh, I know I didn't go, go under the eye, did I? Anyway, I'll do that in a minute. So that connects that one together there and brings a little bit of shape, almost like richer in colour. I'm scared, so I'm just going to take that off. But when I go up there, it will read too much colour. It's actually more pigmented, isn't it? It's the light's just slightly different on this side. Sort of heavier on this side the light doesn't it now it's the afternoon here so I just got excited about sharing this with you so yeah okay let me use a little one underneath which I might go in with the same one underneath so I'm going in with a darker shade with a beveled one and I'm going right over my lashes so it almost sort of tickles me tickle 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 I'm just going to see if I can add another little light just to that wall, just to make sure that we've really got a great comparison. One moment. Aha, you see? That was the trickery of the light. So I've just placed a little light. As you can see, I'm getting that sort of high beam off my face now because this isn't the daylight. But I think that was really important for us to see. Um, light, honestly, is everything in terms of makeup like how you apply it please 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 make sure you apply it in a um, a light where it's straight onto your face and nothing from above I wish I'd never got any overhead lights in my kitchen I think I've um, mentioned that a few times such an ugly light you just need lots of lamps everywhere you need to make friends with Aladdin right okay so yeah, good. Okay, great. So now we went in, we get a clean brush again. Oh, we used about 89 brushes. You don't need to do this, thankfully. And we're going to go in with the metallic. Let's see the payoff with the metallic over the top. It could be more crumbly. It could be more sheeny. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's uh, pretty similar. This is turning out to be a great dupe. 
Now we're going to go in with a cotton bud, she says, and let's see if we can catch that nice light at the front of my eye. Now, it's, it's crumbling a lot more than the Tilbury does, but if you're just very gentle with it, don't want that to go too much across there. I need to make sure that's balanced. Probably gone a bit too much there. So let me just take a new cotton bud just so you know that I'm doing this for real. And it got into the Tilbury one. Let's just see how that looks. Yeah, it's a little bit warmer. This is a little bit whiter. You see, that is the only difference. So let me just go in with that one and knock that back slightly my finger because that's too you see how that's kind of really it's lovely but it's not the vibe we want because what I love about the pillow talk it's kind of just very feminine and very gentle woohoo if you were just about to treat yourself to Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk which I love which I use I've just saved you 20 quid check that one out I'll put the link in below or lovely Zoe will anyway <laughs> right how do we finish this off right I have cut so I think it was two weeks ago I told you about the Beauty Pie Wrap Star tubing mascara. Right, oh my goodness, I talked about the brush. This is now, without question, the best, as in terms of volume, tubing mascara I have ever, ever, ever tried. And you know what made this work? Is that I put it on, like this, and... I fiddled around and then I went back and did a second coat and oh my gosh it literally came to life whereas you'll know that a lot of tubing mascaras once you've got the um, mascara on and it's dried and yes okay don't wait for it to dry you have to kind of do it quite quickly yeah this highlight is much more shimmery I prefer the softer one but just go easy on it um, and it builds and builds and builds and literally it stays put so Unlocked Hourglass was my um, favourite one, but this is this can actually build and build a little bit more, but you have to keep doing it. So it takes like three times as long to apply. So take bear that in mind. But if you are someone who just literally can't get any mascara to stay put on their eyes and you want a bit of volume um, and you don't mind spending a little bit more time and you don't want to spend a fortune, this... <laughs> <laughs> this is um, really great and it just builds and builds and builds. I really want to have a chat to Beauty Pie about, I know it's made in Korea, like is there a little backstory about this mascara? I'd like to know the more backstories actually about Beauty Pie because the development happens so quickly and it's so good. Um, I don't know how they do it. Good. Right, so yeah, top tip for that. Now, for blush, now what I've been using, I've been using my, um, wasn't the Sunlit Coral, it's the, the Max Factor one that's really, really soft and, aha, soft and hydrating. The reason I got that wrong is that um, uh, it's called Radiant Rose and it always looks, it doesn't look rosy to me, it looks absolutely pinky. <laughs> so that's why well, I couldn't find what I was looking for. So this is Reed Radiant Rose. I've tried these before, but I thought it was going to be really pretty um, against the eyes. So with this product, it's, it's a very beautiful blush product, by the way. It's got hyaluronic and squalane in it as well, so really good for the skin. Um, but what's lovely about it is that once you've gone, out, gone over the scary part, which means sort of you're, you're chucking on like loads of blush and you think, oh no, I've gone down like the face painting, <laughs> face painting side of beauty. Um, it sort of clings to the skin. There isn't much playtime. It dries quickly, but then it just sort of, I've used this before in a video. God, look what it does to my face. It's like a facelift. Just gently stretch. Sounds like bird noise. Oh, you see? See how it's all working against the gray. It's so lovely but you have to know how to apply it. Don't freak out, apply a tiny weeny bit and then you just feather the edges. And then once it's dried, it then dries half a color, half a shade. 
it dries almost half its colour lighter. Does that make sense? I hope so. Nice big brush, Otis Battersby, and just blend that through. Just take the edge, it's almost just like feathering the edges. So you can see that it gives a really nice dimension. And you can see obviously because I've had to put the light on, it's getting a little bit dark. The light's getting more nice and pinky actually. Um, that you can really kind of get that payoff, but that's sort of how it would look just if it was in like a light, for instance. I thought about my lips, but I will tell you that my lips have got nice lip balm on, so I need to take that off. Mm, mm, let me be, let me see what I have been wearing. So the one I've loved the most, actually which could work, which is very, very hydrating. Oh good. Oh, it's Matt's Factor again, but, but it's um, Priyanka Chopra's, the Cafe Latte. Yes, it is Cafe Latte. Such a nice colour. Um, really classic. The reason I'm still looking around and I'm not solving it is I want to find a little lip liner, which I know I haven't got, so bear with me. Going back with one of my favourite brands for lip liners, Diego de la Palma. Really, really nice, and I need to have that softness. When I'm using a nude colour, I need a little bit more shape because otherwise you try that when you put on like a nudie lipstick and you think oh my god I've got no mouth um, so I just need to bring this colour over this is shade 154 I think if I've got that right 154 and I think also if you I don't particularly have but if you've got sort of really sort of pinky lips when you put a nude on it doesn't necessarily work um, it doesn't go as nudie as you wish so if you do a nice base again like the eyeliner trick that I was showing you using the side and almost just really sculpting in that shape you want to and getting rid of the shininess because it's the matte of the lipstick and the matte oh, sorry it's the matte of the liner oh my god they look plumped don't they god what a difference what I'm trying to explain to you is if you have a slightly matter lipstick, especially if you've got bumpy lips like mine, then it it softens them. Whereas if you have a lot of shine on it, it really elevates the kind of uneven texture of the skin. Um, so matte works very well. And you can get some really beautiful matte lipsticks now um, that can obviously flatter our lips, but obviously they haven't got, you know, they have got the the hydration in them, but they don't feel soft and hydrating and creamy like this one would. But God, doesn't lip liner make a difference? I can be a bit lazy with lip liner, but when I put it on, I think, oh, for goodness sake. I mean, how much time? I'm intrigued to see what you think. Oh, it's pretty, right? It needs a little bit more of something because I was looking a bit eye cheeky. That really did lift up my cheeks. Really good. Um, lifting blush of that yeah that's lovely let me see how now that's sort of dried how the mascara works oh for crying out loud literally right in front of me um now that has dried a little bit more can i still get it on yeah the brush breaks through the lashes i mean that is an amazing volume for a tubing mascara no I'm really impressed. Great, so there we go. That is the look for this week. Um, wanted to save you a little bit of cash, um, especially if you wanted to invest in a different type of hue to your makeup, like the Pillow Talk I know is like seriously, seriously popular. Um, but it's nice to find something similar and match it with some new products that uh, kind of give a little bit of elevation to your skin. I didn't realize how my shiny my skin was going to look and how shiny my shirt is. So I kind of, I sort of instinctively was able to kind of morph the look together. But I hope you think that it looks contemporary. Um, the lashes are going to stay there. My lips look um, super new and improved. And uh, yeah, anyway, have a good week, guys. And as usual, thank you so much for your comments. You do make me laugh. Some of them are hilarious in, in a very warm way. And um if there's anything you want me to do, just keep sending it. I know that sometimes I'm like, oh, that's a great idea, and then I forget. If you want something, I will try it and deliver. Bye for now.